heck is that? Is that a bird's nest? Did you all cover a bird's nest? <laughs> Some kind of nest. Who lived there? Can't wait to decorate. There's so much we can make. How will it turn out? OMG, we're having a baby? another omg we're having a baby still happening guys we have an awesome makeover for you today because we are redoing our guest bathroom otherwise known as our baby's bathroom it's gonna be the baby's bathroom because the baby's a bala he's got his own bathroom he's got his own bathroom and it's we only have a two bathroom house so we have our master bathroom but this bathroom has been in need of a makeover for about 90 years. Lowe's is sponsoring us and sponsoring this video, which is awesome because we probably still wouldn't have done it <laughs> if it weren't for them because bathrooms, you know, they take a little bit longer than our, you know, one or two day room makeovers. Exactly. If you are new, hit that subscribe button, join the Creative Weirdo family. Turn on the bell because it's a cool thing to do to be in the notification club. Also, if you're already subscribed and you want to take it to the next level, you can hit the join button yes. and access our members' vlogs, yep. live chat, that's all that fun stuff. We do exclusive vlogs we upload every week and you get to see all the behind the scenes of what's going on in our lives and sneak peeks and of upcoming videos and all that stuff, so. 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 We loved this bathroom when we moved in and this was actually the footprint that I based the rest of the house's color palette on because I knew that the tile itself was original to the 1920s so I made the rest of our house like a black and white gray theme so we definitely want to preserve that black and white vibe in there and also pay homage to the original design of the bathroom with like the wainscoting inside the bathtub and also inside the shower. Yeah, the reality is, is we love the bathroom, but as old as it is, there were some problems. These used to be the old exterior windows of the house mm -hmm. before they then built on the other bathroom, which is behind this, and extended the master bedroom. So they just kind of blocked in the windows and didn't really do anything, didn't put shelves, didn't put mirrors, so they're just these like random rectangles in there that have always bugged me. It's a weird configuration because they originally had this sort of built-in where the old windows were, but then they put a sink right in front of it, so you can't even really open up all the drawers. And the worst part for me that just bugs me all the time are the fixtures. Like, they definitely replaced the sink and tub and shower fixtures like in the 80s or something. They're like not original, they're not cute. And also inside the shower, they had like repaired it at some point and then painted over the tile. And so the paint is peeling everywhere and it's just like really gross and I'm actually like kind of embarrassed about it when we have guests over. As much as I am obsessed with the old tile, it's cracked all over the floor. They yeah, well the, the subfloor probably has a crack in it because it's a concrete subfloor and you can kind of see the crack going through the bathroom. Whole bathroom. If we had like a ton of amazing vintage stuff in here to preserve, I would want to preserve it, but really all we have is some cracked tile. So we're gonna do a What? Before you go, you gotta clean out all the drawers. No, Joey, you gotta clean out the- Oh my gosh. Joey, look at all your hairs. How many fake ponytails does a girl need? Don't. Do not touch a girl's leave. All right, so first off is demo. <gasps> Joey's favorite part. that demo look at you I mean look how the bathroom looks with nothing in it you see the old lath and plaster you have your studs your framing and then they put lath on top of the studs which is basically just thin pieces of wood mm -hmm. and then they put a metal wire sheet over that and work in the plaster today we use drywall it's just crazy seeing like the bones of this old house it actually looks like it's in pretty good shape it is in pretty good shape I'm so impressed with our little cute vintage house the heck is that is that a bird's nest did you all cover a bird's nest? <laughs> Some kind of nest. Who lived there? So a very important part of redoing a space is obviously having the materials. So mm. we are going to go shopping. Online shopping. 
my favorite. <laughs> Joey? Yes? <gasps> what are you doing? I'm making you a delicious lunch. Are you reheating my leftovers? Yes. Oh my gosh, such service. So I'm already browsing here. Uh-huh. So we want like around like a 48 inch, I think, in there. You want to go like edge to edge? I want to do like a centered sink vanity. So probably like a 48 inch. I think if we bring in a wood tone, it will be a nice like contrast to the black and white tile. So we're shopping on Lowe's.com and it's great because we shop at Lowe's all the time anyways. So Joey and I are pretty familiar with all the items. They literally have everything you could possibly need. Totally. Yeah. This one. I love how that has those like long drawer pulls. I know it's like a perfect combo of like vintage with the wood grain, but then a modern vibe to it, like a cleaner vibe. Yeah. Add it to the cart. The one thing that we're doing is moving the sink from the side, which was sort of a random spot for it, and putting it on the back wall, which just will make so much more sense. You'll walk in, you'll see a beautiful vanity with sink and mirror right there. It'll free up the floor space there, and it'll just make way more sense. Okay, so look at this oh, that's cool. medicine cabinet. It has so much storage. Add it to the cart. Okay, so this is everything you're thinking. Yeah, floor tile will be like the bigger hexagon in black matte. Yeah. And then the wall wainscoting inside the tub, like surround inside the shower stall will be this white subway tile, which was what was in there before. I really love the larger hexagon in matte black for the floor because I feel like we're paying homage to the fact that there used to be hexagon tile on the floor, but we're making it bigger, a little bit more modern. It also ties back to the kitchen because we have the white hexagon in the kitchen. Exactly. And then for the wainscoting, we're going to just basically take a cue from what they had designed in the 20s and do the subway tile again all the way up to that same line, that same horizontal line, and then also throughout the whole shower. But we're kind of modernizing it a little bit, so rather than doing like a border tile, we're going to use what's called a Schluter, basically a Schluter brand, which is essentially a metal trim. So rather than the tile ending in like a little curved piece, it's gonna end in like a metal border, and we're doing brass, which is gonna be so pretty. We're mixing our metals. So pretty. I love it. Order it all. I gotta make my lunch. Okay, checking out. It's actually really easy to install tile. You just wanna make sure you have all your surfaces level and clean, and then you just put down some quick set mortar and spread it around and put the tile down. Another cool thing is for the wainscoting tile, the subway tile, it's super easy to trim. You just have to score it, which basically means putting a very light scratch in it, and then you can just pop them. Joey! Yeah. Ooh, this is what labor might be like. <laughs> so I personally love this bathtub in this bathroom. It's actually a very small bathtub. I fit perfectly in it. Like I can extend my legs and I don't slide forward. So I really wanted to preserve this little bathtub. I love the archways in this bathroom. It's really unique to the house. You know what I was thinking? I really want to make sure that we can have the black tile extend into the shower. Since we're gonna have clear glass door, mm. I wanna like have that seamlessness of like the black floor going into the floor of the shower. So do you think we have enough? Yeah, I wasn't planning on that. He was tasked with making sure that we have ordered enough tile to cover the floors. And I do- Which I did. But I want it in the shower as well. But that was not my initial task. Well, you didn't qualify and ask me. When I say floors, I include the floor of the shower. So we have- We have plenty of the white tile, I yeah, know. Yeah, this is all we have left of the black tile. Oh, just one box? I think one more box oh, is Oh, this fine. is the Schluter. Yeah. Ooh, perfect. Is it perfect? Actually, no. I think I may have ordered a size too small, huh? Yeah, you did. 
He got skinny schluter. We need slightly fatter schluter. It's like the metal piece, so you have like a finished edge on the tile. Yeah. And I ordered the wrong size. Math guy. Math guy. I am obsessed with this vanity. So cool. This is such a beautiful piece. I wanted to make sure that we had the element of natural wood in the bathroom because we have a lot of natural wood throughout the house. We have natural wood floors, etc. So rather than the bathroom just being only all black and white, I wanted there to be something like that. So this vanity, oh my gosh. Good choice. <gasps> Thank you. Ooh, look at that <laughs> bathtub faucet. With that is so much better than the old one. The old one was definitely like replaced in like the 80s or something. Yeah. So these are our nice, simple, cool. Look like a glass globe. Yeah, glass globe with like a filament bulb in there. Look at this. This is the sink faucet. Cool. How gorgeous. So these fixtures we picked for the bathroom I'm really excited about. We're mixing our metals, which you guys know I love to do. And I'm playing with the horizontal lines. So basically all like the faucets and those things around that area of the horizontal line of the room are going to be brushed nickel. And then up a little bit, we have the brass Schluter and then we have brass and black light fixtures. Oh, my hoop earrings. Matching, matching towel hooks? Yeah. If I gauged my ears, I could wear these. <laughs> You're such a square. <laughs> oh, God. How's it feel? Ooh. So we opted for a slightly more petite shower head because that shower stall is so small. Right. If we got like a giant one, it would just be like too much water in there. You'd not be able to escape it if you needed to like suds up. Right. I'm obsessed with all of this. I think it's so cool. I love all the lines of it. It's very... It's like modern Geometric. meets vintage. If that's such a thing, it is now. It's like a fun video game. Does it? You're supposed to come in like as like a villain. What? Rawr! No, it's a maze. Have you ever played Pac-Man? Joey! I'm a creative weirdo. I grew up in a Waldorf school. I didn't play video games. I'm playing a video game that's clearly like 2D, going through a maze, and then I say, okay, you join in, and you go, Poof! all of a sudden it's in like 3D. And like, <laughs> Moon, are you excited to see your new bathroom? Are you excited to not watch TV until high school? Yeah. And never play video games? Yeah. Yay! I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> okay. Love you, Joe. You're doing Love great. You. You're really doing real great. Yeah, dude, keep it up. Winston, come take a nap with me. Ooh. So, okay, we've got the Schluter in. Look at how good it looks. We don't have grout yet. Look at how those niches came out with the Schluter. It looks so good. Girl, so this is that niche. Oh my gosh, Moon's shampoo and baby soap is gonna go in that niche. So we primed the walls with a mildew proof primer. So that's drying. And then we are going to put on the Valspar Simplicity in du jour. Same color, right? As the nursery wainscoting. Okay. High five, grout. Paint. Paint. Paint first, then, then grout. grout. <laughs> Artwork yes. for Moon slash guest bathroom. We have those beautiful white walls now, and we have that whole expanse of wall that's empty. So we should do like maybe two frames. Yeah, I'm thinking two, like 24 by 30 inch frames. It's gonna be really dramatic, but it's gonna be really cool. 
and we can do our old frame trick, but I think like what could be cool to elevate it is we can use the same Valspar simplicity in white mm -hmm. and paint the inside of the frame within like a white backing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so then there's a border, so then what I'll do is I'll do like a diptych of sort of like a phases of the moon vibe, but not like on the nose, yeah. just like implying sort Great. of moon things, but abstract. And then the torn edges, and then mount it on the white background. All right, I'm cool. gonna make these, and then you do the artwork, and then we'll combine it together like we do in our relationship all the time, and it's gonna be done. Aw, that's cute. Okay, okay, I'll do artwork. Picture by looking at your screen number four. We couldn't do these cool looking projects without you. Who's we? We. Us. Oh, you. Us. I don't know. <laughs> Me. Guys, hope you liked the makeover. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments what you think of the renovation. I'm so glad that we got this done before Moon has landed. And I'm also just so excited to now be able to use it. All of the links to everything we use in this uh, renovation are in the description. The description. And yeah, if you would be so kind as to join our Creative Weirdo family, subscribe, hit that notification button, and if you want to take it a step further and join the inner circle of our membership, you can click the join button, which is on the front of our page channel. Yeah. It's there. Huge thanks to Lowe's. Thank like, you, Lowe's. Lowe's, please just sponsor every single video of ours. Yes, please. Because uh, it also motivated us to finally do our bathroom. So yeah. we're so thankful. That's it. That's it. Wow. Whoa. Baby's coming soon. Baby's coming soon. And I gotta pee. Okay. Stay creative, stay weird, stay you. Because we're not, we love you. Bye. Bye.